this is LAMUI, a GUI library for embedded systems. It is completely platform independent. Uh, that means it can run on any hardware as long as the RAM and flash size is uh, acceptable. But the user has to provide a function for drawing pixels on the display. It has no display driver of its own, so it has to be handled by the user. Also, it can take inputs. Uh, for now, only touch and mouse inputs are supported. Uh, I have planned to add rotary encoder or D pad based inputs, but I don't know when I can do them. My main target was to keep it uh, simple, stupid, and very lightweight. This entire project is a work in progress. APIs are being changed const uh, continuously. So, there is no documentation available yet, but if anyone is interested, just go and check the source code. Uh, code is pretty self explanatory, but still, uh, I'll write some documentation later. So, this is a very simple example of how to make an application with LEMUI. Just include the LEMUI.h header file and also include uh, the font files. You may uh, you can only include only one font file that's okay and then here I am just uh, declaring some global variables here because I want to access these panels labels etc from event handler that's why I'm making them global now next just go to the main function all those type of stuffs are related to OpenGL they have nothing to do with LEMUI okay now the first step is that LEMUI in it. You have to initialize the LEMUI. This is the first step you have to do it mandatory. And then the next step, which is also important, is registering your display driver. First, create the display driver, then register it. And then just set your own callback functions, which will be called by LEMUI for drawing pixels. My set pixel area is just your implementation of <coughs> drawing pixels on the display and uh, next optional step is registering your touch input device and again this is optional because you may not want to take input from user only display stops in that case this is not required now first step regarding creating ui elements is that creating a scene you can uh, think scenes as uh, global container I mean they are the main container which contains levels buttons switches slider etc so the scene is always full height and width and uh, that's it they are the main container so you can also set a global font for scene I mean if you say uh, if you set a font for a scene then whatever object you add to the scene you will get that font you don't have to uh, individually select font for them and I'm creating two scenes here very simple now and okay after creating scenes you have to set a scene as active scene this scene will be rendered whenever you change the active scene then the current active scene will be rendered now the first step is how to create a label it's quite simple also now just create the label <coughs> using the label create function then add it to a parent this is most important if you don't add it to a parent then uh, it will not be rendered you have to add it to a parent and here the parent is the scene next the set the text of the same uh, your level and whatever text you want no doesn't matter setting position is also important by default the position is 0 comma 0 so you have to set a position in x and y axis setting area is also important uh, otherwise nothing will be rendered then regarding the background color and text color they are optional because the default theme is uh, good enough you don't have to set a theme mandatorily you don't have to set any colors and regarding the visibility the visibility is also by default one so you don't have to these three options are actually optional you can just comment them out if you want anyways so here i'm creating a graph as you can see i am selecting your data source uh, position area etc now let's see how to group some objects so to group some objects the concept is like that you create a panel and then you add the individual objects to that panel and then you add the panel to the scene so first um, yep first create a panel 
okay then set the position and the area of the panel and then add the panel to the scene so this is the panel which will contain the next objects so then we create a label and then we add the label to the panel you can see we are not adding it to the scene we are adding it to the panel and also when you are setting position of the label now the position is relative to the panel not relative to the main scene so if the panel is uh, at say 10 comma 10 and uh, if you set the position of level to 0 comma 0 then the actual position of the level will be 10 comma 10 so it is relative to the panel then set the area and now simply we add some uh, labels and uh, toggle switches to the panel and if you want to now move all those things together just move the panel everything will follow the panel then and here i'm just creating more and more and more objects and nothing important now well here i'm creating a list you can see so lists are nothing but collection of buttons okay you just create the main list then you add items these items are actually buttons well so you can set the text and that's how list items are added you can also delete a list item using the list uh, remove item or something like that i forgot it one very important thing is that after you add items to a list or after you perform any kind of change in the list in its area or position or anything like that you have to call the list prepare function before you uh, finally render everything unless the list uh, may not render properly this is important because these items are dynamically uh, resized every time you make some change uh, also navigation buttons are automatically added if list items are more than the area of the list so for this purpose you have to call list prepare manually after you make any change in the list okay this is important this is not required for any other element like for button for label you don't need it but for list make any change and then you finally call the list prepare well now this is a very big list as you can see lots of items are added now the purpose of adding this big list is to check that if dynamically list items goes to the next page or not i'll show you very soon and uh, in this case uh, what will happen if your list area is very small then all these items will not fit then there will be two buttons added automatically previous and next so you can just click those buttons and you will go to the next page of the list there is no scrolling supported this entire ui library has no support for scroll i'm sorry and now this is slider slider is also very simple just uh, add it to the parent set its position set its area and range what is the range of the value of the slider and then sliders current value and the callback is optional if you want uh, to have a callback whenever sliders value is changed or any event is occurred then you can use this set callback function this is the final function you have to call in order to render things or take inputs or do anything this is the final for opengl uh, as i am using glute glute main loop is actually an infinite loop that runs uh, continuously so this glute main loop calls my display function actually it is called by glute display function which is called by glute main loop and then my display function is called by glute display function where LUI update is called for embedded systems though I mean for real microcontrollers this is just like this while one we are just calling it continuously that's it and then probably you can add some delay here so you can do other stuffs I mean in real time you shouldn't add delay you should rather uh, just use some timer to wait for a certain time before again calling LUI update now the best part of LUI update is that if anything is changed only then it will render the scene. So for embedded system this is just like calling this LUI update in a loop and don't just delay you can also do other stuffs like blinking LED or controlling motor etc. But this is the main function that is uh, that handles everything in this LUI update. Now let's compile and run it. now it's running as you can see so yep this is the very simple graph uh, graph is not accurate uh, it needs lots of working now if you click the counter what is happening is count every time you press the count 
a callback is firing and that callback has some um, uh, callback is actually modifying some value in the graph and then graph is also re-rendering if you call reset similar thing is happening the reset is just setting this value to zero everything is done using callback now if you call this enable wi-fi you can see a pop-up is shown here pop-up uh, has a special property that it steals the input that means if you hover your cursor or anything else or try to click anything that will not work you have to click on the pop-up first you can also toggle switches you can see whenever the switch is in on position the color is changed some nice things well this is a very small list as you can see this is uh, there is not much elements here and uh, everything is fit in one page but we have another very very big list in the next page yes this is the very big list as you can see automatically a next button is added i have not added this button in uh, added manually okay the user don't have to worry about this button this will be added automatically whenever list items are too much for a single list you can go there you can see more items here and remaining items are there you can also go back so yep this is the replacement of scrolling <laughs> finally slider also please note that slider has no property like uh, text or level okay this is at completely different level standalone level value of this level is changed using the value change event of slider whenever sliders value is changed the value of this level is also changed and finally checkbox checkbox are toggleable like uh, either checked or not, or not checked so that's pretty much it go back to previous scene you can count and well that's it soon i'll make another video with real hardware right now i don't have a touch display so the simulator is the only way and then i can also see the performance and everything and probably i'll make a better video with uh, proper examples and that's it all the links and stops are in the description if you like go and check it thank you